Hey guys, Shed Bear 1000 here. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to change this alternator on this Toyota Tacoma 4 cylinder. Stick with me, I'll show you step by step and tell you what tools you're going to need. Okay, guys and gals. This is, this is all you're going to need on this particular truck. This is a 2004 Toyota Tacoma. I know I've said 2003 in my past videos, but they're, it's the same thing. Um, it is actually the newer model. It was built in 2003, but it came at, out after um, June. So this truck is actually 2004, but it'll fit... Uh, it, it's it's pretty much the same basis on any alternator that you're going to change but on this particular one here this is what we're going to need you will need a 10 millimeter you're going to need a 12 millimeter these are box in wrenches and you're going to need a 14 millimeter now down to bottom on the longer bolt you may need or you may want to use a ratchet wrench if you happen to have two 14 millimeter wrenches handy, that'll work as well. Just doesn't go as quick. So the first thing you're going to want to do is I'm going to move these out of the way for right now. Okay. Is you're going to want to unhook your negative battery terminal because you are going to be unhooking a cable off of the alternator that. Uh, that is constant power it's full 12 volt now the reason why you want to do this is because if you bump your fender or some kind of metal it's not going to spark on you if you do if you unhook your positive one first and you bump some kind of metal it's going to spark it may weld together now if you can try to put this negative cable down in there like that so that way it doesn't if it's up here it doesn't actually like you know bring itself over okay so just push push that down there like that now we're ready to go. Now I want to show you what we're going to do up here from the top of the alternator. I'm going to try to hold you here. Let me get, get you some light down here. Now right down in here, you're going to have a plug right here. Now on top of this plug, there's a little tab. you got to squeeze that tab down and pull your plug out. Now it can be finicky. And you may have to use two hands like me because I'm kind of weak on my right hand now. So we shall just push that tab down and pull that straight out just like that. Now like I said, it's, it's the same basis on any alternator pretty much on anything you're going to want to change the alternator on it's the same basis you may need different tools you may have different wiring set up but like i said it's pretty much the same now we've got this wire up here is one i was telling you about the main the main uh charging wire because if you would try to do this and you hit something metal like that it would spark and cause a problem could start a fire this is a 10 millimeter here this is what we're going to take off now, like i said on the basis of some of these, the way the belts go on, like Fords, they go on different. Chevys go on different. Chryslers, they, you know, you got to take them off. Some of the older ones, you used to have to pry the alternator back, like the older Chevys. Uh, you would have to try to uh, just, like, get a tire iron or, or a long screwdriver, and you'd have to pry it back, then tighten the nut. Now, this one's got a little different setup I'm going to show to you. As soon as we get this this nut off here. Now, if you're going to take take this off and you're planning on putting it back on because you're doing other work, you know, always screw the screw or this nut back on to the head of the bolt so you don't lose it and you know where it is. Okay, so there's that. Now, I don't know where my cover is. See, there's supposed to be a red cover on here. Okay, that you may have to pop open. I don't know where this one went to. But anyway, try to just move them out of your way there. Okay. Now up here on the top. Right. Right down in here. 
Let me get you, let me grab a wrench here. Right down in here, these are 12 millimeter. There's going to be one here, you're going to want to loosen this one, okay? It's eventually going to come clear out, okay? But go ahead and loosen this. Now, if you can get, you know, if you can fit your ratchet in there, that's fine. Use your ratchet wrench, whatever. But we're just going to loosen that for now. Then this one, we're going to loosen this because this is what tightens your, your belt up, okay? I think we're going the wrong way. Make sure you go the right way. If it starts tightening it, then you'll know you're going the wrong way. So go ahead and loosen this bolt up. All right. This long bolt here. And get that out of the way. Now see that belt's still going to be tight because we didn't loosen the bottom bolt. So let me get you down underneath here so we can, I'll show you how to loosen the bottom it's a longer bolt. I'll show you how to loosen that bottom bolt and take it out. Because it can be finicky, but don't be alarmed. It's nothing major. Okay. We're down here on the bottom now. There's the bottom of the alternator. Right there. See, there's a head of the bolt that's, that comes through. That's 14 millimeter. The same way with on the back here, there's a nut. Okay. There's a 14 millimeter nut. Let me get under here. Right here. Where are my fingers pointing? Right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ratchet the nut off of this end and hold the other end with my, I don't know if I can get you guys in here, but I'm gonna hold the other end with my wrench. So let me see if I can Maybe get you guys to see somewhat of what I'm talking about here. So I'm going to put my wrench up here on the front on the bolt head, the head of the bolt, and I'm going to take my ratchet. I love this ratchet extends out in case you need more, more oomph. So I've got this loose. I should be able to let me get I'm trying to get where you guys can see and I can do this without getting in your way. But anyway you're gonna take this long take this nut off the long bolt. Okay, don't lose it. This is the bolt here. See that bolt? And you're going to pull that out. Like I said, they can be finicky. You may have to get a pair of pliers, vice grips, but see now your, your belt's loose if you see no alternator move. Okay, so you can't see what I'm seeing. There's really more room than what it looks, but when you get a camera in here, it's uh, not as much room. And I keep knocking the damn camera over. Alright, just like that. Okay, now we're going to take go back up to the top, and we're going to take that top bolt out. Right up there, okay. So let's go up the top and we'll pull the old alternator out and put the new one in. Okay guys, there's really no good way to get you guys down in here, but I'm sorry about that. But I'm gonna go ahead and finish taking that bolt out here. Since we already have it loose. Now this alternator is still good. I've explained that in other videos why I have two good ones, but since we bought a new battery, I'm going to put the one, the alternator that we took back, I'm going to put it back on here, so that way if anything happens to it, I can take it back, but there's your little setup there, okay, just goes like, 
just goes like that. Now, you're going to want to just move this back and forth as you're pulling up. And I'll show you why it, it gets kind of stuck on there. Just pull it up. Move your, I don't know if you've seen what I just did to that, this line right here. That'll kind of stay out of the way there for you. Or it should. And then your alternator is going to come up here. And you're going to have to finagle it a little bit. But it's going to come right up out through here. Okay? Okay. Just like that. That's how you get that out. All right. Like I said, this alternator is still good, so I'm going to keep it in the toolbox because I always have tools with me. Now, down in here, I'll show you down there in a, just a second, but you've got two ears that come up here like this, okay? And that bolt goes through there. And once you tighten that down, on them ears, there's like a bushing in the front one here that you may have to tap back and it'll slide in easier for you. And I'll show you that right now if I can. Right here. See this thing actually move back and forth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap this back in. I don't know if I can use my ratchet or not. I don't want to use my ratchet. What I want to do now is set these things side by side. You know, look them over. Make sure they're the same, okay? Make sure you got the same pins inside of here. Whoops. You know, there's your nut. Same pins. There's three in this one. There's three in that one. Make sure these are the same. And they are. Everything looks the same. So let's go ahead and take our tag off. All right. There's your, before you start, you don't know much about them maybe you should read that so I'm going to slide this back down in there and we're going to start that bottom bolt down in there now we need to get up under here and get it started into the mount Start this in that hole. I can't. Anyway, what you're going to notice, let me get you off the stand. What you're going to notice is right right here. You can see that's not lined up. Okay. So what you can do by lining that up is just move this back and forth as you're pulling down because here's where you're going to want to start your bolt at just like that okay so what I'm going to do is I'm, I've got to set you down there's no way to do this I'm sorry but I'm going to wiggle that back and forth while I'm pushing that bolt in and once that bolt starts in that hole you'll be fine you're ready to go so let me do that and I'll be back with you Okay guys, we got it through that. Your hardest part is getting that lined up. Okay, so we got that through. So I'm going to go ahead and start my nut on here. So how easy. Once you get it lined up, get that bolt in there. That bolt just, you know, it's really easy to come out 
or move back and forth. So we're gonna just get it started on here. A lot easier to do with two hands, but I'm holding the camera in one hand and Okay, alright, so it's started on there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run that nut up there just a little bit. But you don't want to tighten it yet because you got to still tighten your bolt. This will be the, or your, your belt. This, this bolt here is, is going to be the last one you tighten up. So let me get that run up there a little bit more so it don't fall off and roll away. And then I'll show you how to tighten that belt. Okay guys, now we're going to put our belt back on. I don't know if you can see it up here or not, but you want to make sure that you get all them ribs in there. Er, yeah, they are called ribs. You want to make sure you get get them in there the right way. Like, let me show you some. Like right there, that's not all the way on that belt. So make sure. And you get that belt on perfect like that. I know you can't see. Just like that. Same way as check your water pump and check down in here and make sure that belt is on correctly. Start this bolt in here. You want to get that up just like that. Start your bolt, get it, you know, finger tight a little bit there. Now, you may have to, just like that, you may have to uh, loosen this up a little bit if you're putting a new belt on. But this one's already stretched, so there that goes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to snug this up a little bit, and then I'm going to tighten this up. Okay. And that's what we're going to do next with our 12 millimeter wrench. Okay. Now they all they do they do make a belt. Damn it. They do make a belt gauge, but I always go by feel and how much deflection it has. I'm sorry guys, let me let me get back to you on this thing just, just for a second. Okay. Okay guys, all I did was bring bring it until this piece barely touches that. And then you're going to want to tighten this bolt here up. Like I said, you can use a ratchet on it. But you don't want it to super tighten these because not only will it wear your belt out prematurely, it'll wear the bearings out with that much pressure and your new alternator and you don't want that so if it's been a long time let's say you bought a vehicle brand new let's say it's time for an alternator if you've never replaced the belt just go ahead and replace it no matter what it looks like now you can always keep it in case of a you know backup an emergency throw it in your trunk toolbox or whatever but see this is what i'm looking for on this belt Just some, you know, I call it about a half inch deflection, okay? And that's that. Now I'm going to go underneath, and then you're going to want to tighten this bolt up. This one here. Then you're going to want to go underneath and tighten your big one. And then we'll, I'll, I'm going to do that and I'll come back and I'm going to hook, I'll show you how to hook it back up. Okay, now we're just going to take our plug. There's only one way it can go, so you can't mix it up, but that, that tab will go on the top on this particular model. Push it in until you hear it click, give it a little tug. Make sure it's it's good and snug on there. And take your your uh, wire and put on there. And your nut. And again, these you don't want it to be super tight, but you just want it snug, just so it doesn't come loose, because you'll strip it or 
twist the wire off inside so there you go that's good enough now that's all there is to that now that's done now let's put our battery terminal in back on here tighten it up just like I showed you guys in the past if you follow these I know you can't really hardly see much down under there but I did the best I could guys uh, okay so there's that now we're going to start it up and make sure there's nothing arcing and sparking and if you had a uh, if your battery light was on before you might want to you know check make sure it's out of course we didn't have that problem I think it's a uh, fuel pump we put on here back in January, I think it was. I think it's going bad. Okay, see the battery lights out, which ours was never on, but just for instance, uh, if you've got the gauge, make sure the gauge is charging good, your amp gauge, your volt gauge, and whatnot. Now you have to reset your clock and your radio and all that stuff. But let's go out here, make sure the belt's spinning like it should, make sure there's no arcing and sparking. Nice and quiet. Okay, everything looks good. So there you go. Fairly simple on this one. Some of them are really hard to get to uh, on different on different vehicles, but this one wasn't too bad. Final check. Make sure you didn't leave any tools or any bolts or anything laying around there. Check underneath when you get done. And there you go. I know it looks a little difficult because of the trouble I was having, but that's just because the camera was in my way. This particular truck is fairly easy to do. Uh, the hardest part's lining that alternator up, you know, in between the ears on that on that bottom mount. But uh, yeah, it's uh, this one here is one of the easiest ones, other than an older Chevy when they were right on top. So just follow these instructions the best you can, and you should be okay. So, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. We'll see you soon.